Hey guys, my name is Jimmy and today I'm going to be introducing you guys to Ableton's Wavetable Synth um, as well as giving you guys some quick workflow tips so you guys can start to you know, use this synth in your productions right away. Um, so without further ado, let's get started. Um, over here in Ableton's browser, if you go over to Instruments and then go to Wavetable at the bottom here, you just drag that in. I've got I've already got one set up. Um, there it is, super beautiful. Um, now Wavetable is um, Ableton's native Wavetable synth. Um, it uses a technique called Wavetable synthesis, which is essentially taking small, short, looping samples. And um, what happens is when you play one note. Um, with the oscillator fixed at one of these samples, that note will play a steady tone and a consistent timbre. Now, things start to get interesting when you start to move through the different wavetables and interpolate between them. So, you know, that might sound something like, if I go over to this, I've got some chords already set up. So that is going to be going from our sine up to our square. Okay, so to demonstrate this concept, we well, I actually have set up um, this little track idea um, that I prepared for you guys this morning. So it's a little beat, and um, and we have some simple chords here. So I'm gonna play that for you again. Here we go. Super simple chords, and the beat goes like this. Yeah, so I actually really like that. Uh, might change the notes around and use it for something but that'll work for our purposes today. Um, we'll be messing around with these chords and wavetable um, as that plays in the back. So um, getting into the actual wavetable um, synth here, we've got three main sections. Um, it's divided up um, where the oscillator is on the left, the filter is in the middle, and the um, matrix modulation section is on the right. Now um, Ableton's got two separate wavetable Synth, uh, oscillators, excuse me, um, and actually a, a sub, a direct sub out. Um, and so basically it's essentially a three oscillator synth, <laughs> I guess. Um, it's also got um, analog modeled filters in the middle, and um, I'll get into the routing in a second. But let's start with the oscillator. So we've got oscillator one, oscillator two. Um, we can Actually, I'm gonna open this up. So there's this little uh, triangle arrow up here. This gives us a bigger view. We get to see other parts of the synth, um, probably a little bit better for us today. So um, like I said, there's a sub out, gain, tone. Um, you can pitch it um, up, down an octave or two, transpose it. Um, that's pretty useful. I'm gonna turn that off for now. We have um, this gain slider here for each oscillator. Now oscillator two is off. So if I play this right now, oscillator one is gonna be playing a sine wave. Let's solo that. And we can go through the different waveforms with this little slider. So you start to see a little morphing between the wavetables there. Um, how we choose these shapes is up here in this section. So we're under basic shapes. So the first thing you do is go over to this left, left column here and you would pick your category. Once you get your category, um, Wonder Basics, you can pick all the, from this entire list of selection. Um, we can do some harmonic series stuff. Pretty cool. Um, let's go to noise. Let's 
let's hear some more of these. Um, complex bit ring. And it gets pretty cool because cool you can start to modulate um, the wavetable position, the wavetables um, with LFOs and envelopes over here. Um, you can get two of these going so you can start to get a more complex sound, um, add more harmonics. So if we go over to, let's say, collection and try Sapphire. And you can get these sounds to move in opposite directions sometimes. With LFOs in your envelopes, you can filter it out. You can choose your filter types here as well. Um, right now the filter is serial. You can run it parallel or split. Um, and over here, uh, like I said, this is really the fun part. This is where it starts to get um, pretty interesting. We can we have these three envelopes here. The amp envelope controls our volume, um, but these other two envelopes, as well as these two LFOs here, can be assigned um, to a whole bunch of parameters. And the way you assign to a parameter is by clicking on it. So let's say right here we go over to oscillator 2's um, wavetable slider position here, it pops up. Now we can assign an LFO, let's just click on that box, and you can drag up. And now you start to hear the LFO modulating that position. Um, right now it's set to one hertz, one cycle per second. Let's go up to this top right corner and we can actually select a beat division. Um, so this is what an eighth note sounds like against our 94 BPM. Let's hear. You know, we can actually change that. move our rates around, we can actually modulate that rate. If I click on that rate, I can modulate that with an envelope. So I could take envelope two, give it a little ramp, and move it over to the LFO rate one, and now this rate will, will change. over time and really it's pretty modular so you can really um, assign a lot of these parameters to each other um, and just to get it back to zero you simply double click on the square it goes back to zero takes it off so for what we have going on here for this for this beat um, let's just listen Maybe we could start off by using maybe like a pad sound. Um, I might go back to the basics, start with a sine wave. Um, turn this on. And I'll take this amp envelope and I'll give it a little ramp. And we, I kind of wanted to move through these different shapes. And so I might take this amp envelope here and assign it as well to the positions for oscillator one. change the range there. Okay, that sounds pretty interesting. It's pretty soft. Um, I also kind of want this filter to open um, to add some more movement um, as my as my volume increases. So it's so it's kind of got this nice addition of harmonic content as the volume's coming up. So kind of like that. Well, what I can do is I can assign the same amp envelope to not only the wavetable position, but also this filter cutoff. So let's go to that. Can't really see it, but this filter is moving. So 
see it. We can't see it happening, but this filter is going like that. Um, if I take it off, you'll hear how different it is. No high frequency content versus. Great, let's give it a little resonance bump. Uh, maybe make it a little faster. Okay, that's a little much. Cool, and so we've got that nice sound and over here um, I can actually add some unison. Um, I'm gonna use the classic mode. Um, maybe let's go up to eight voices. Sounds really nice. Um, this amount here is like a detune. Awesome, so let's just see how that sounds. Great, awesome. So that's kind of a nice little sound there. Um, there's a lot more that we can do too. You can click on any of these parameters and it'll and the, and the box will pop up down here and you can really map to just about anything. Um, if you want something a little bit more gritty, a little faster, um, kind of like this, we can actually um, start to use LFOs. So let's, let's listen to this. Oops, there you go. You gotta turn on the wavetable. Um, so that's using an LFO. So I've kind of got the same thing. It's not really a saw. I'm actually on the square wave here. Um, I'm using beating four as my second oscillator. Um, my my filter is moving up. So if you look at my matrix, I've got the um, this envelope here, um, envelope two. This. Uh, long attack going to the LFO one amount. Um, so without that, let's listen. That's one really cool thing about this. Um, actually, before I really talk about that, I should have probably have pointed out that I have the LFO one at um, a triplet rate going to the oscillator two position, um, as well as the filter one frequency. So this filter is moving um, back and forth um, to the LFO rate. So that sounds like this. But as you can see, because the same LFO is tied to this um, wavetable position for oscillator two, you can see that the amount of the LFO, the effect of the LFO is gradually increasing. So it's going from a small amount in the beginning to a greater effect towards the end. And if you watch this here, you'll see that it starts off small, gets big and comes back down because it's tied to this envelope two here. Um, it's ramping up, hitting its peak and coming back down. So I have it tied to not only this wavetable position, but also this filter cutoff frequency and that's giving it that nice sound there and the way I'm the way I'm getting that ramp up is the envelope 2 to the LFO amount here so it's at 100% if I brought it down to zero we wouldn't hear anything bring it back up to 100% that envelope 2 that ramp is modulating this amount so to give you a visual aid That's, that's kind of what's happening. Um, and uh, that's, that's kind of giving it that nice, um, you know, organic movement. And um, 
it's kind of letting the kick in this in this idea at least it's letting the kick hit um, and then it's kind of taking its full effect and then it's kind of dying back down so we're hearing yeah and there's a lot of you know crazy stuff you can do with the synth um, if I go back to um, the other tab here um, actually no let's let, let's just use this let's stay on this guy so um, the crazy thing about this is you know like I said you can modulate really to anything you can modulate to the pitch that's what I have let's go to the pitch let's see what happens there maybe instead of an alpha let's use an envelope We can even go over to this, so um, if I full screen this, um, we get to see the whole synth. Uh, over in this top right corner, this circle, so you can basically switch between the linear and the polar views. So this is linear, the polar looks like that, and that gives you kind of a fun look too. We can do all kinds of things. Um, if we go back to um, this sound. That nice ramp, that'd be something really interesting to tie to uh, a fine pitch. Or maybe here. Maybe get an LFO to modulate between like 0.3 semitones. Let's make that a higher rate. Cool, so that about wraps it up for me. Again, my name's Jimmy. I had a great time showing you guys Wavetable. It's a really amazing synth. Just go ahead and pop it open, start routing, go nuts, and have fun with it. Um, and if you guys have any other questions, just comment below. Check out our other videos. Um, we've got a lot of amazing stuff on there. Um, that's about it. Thanks again. Thanks for watching. If you're a music producer, subscribe to our channel and stay up to date on the latest PureMind tutorial videos, track breakdowns, elite sessions, and more. Visit us at PureMind.com. Let's <laughs> go.